The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Bufferly. Produced by Lynn King. Welcome to Jefferson County Public Library. I'm Sarah. I'm the programming librarian. My name is Kara Motzinger and I'm the children's librarian here at the library. We're going to tell you about some of the great stuff we have going on in May. I'm going to start out with the adult programs and then Kara's going to let you know all the great stuff happening in children's. We're going to start off May really fast with a blood drive on the 5th and if you come and give blood we will forgive two dollars off your overdue fines. It's totally worth it and besides you'll save a life. Um, that same day we're having photographer Charles Moman come and do a really neat presentation on um, all of his history study and the photographs he's taken of some of the um, concentration camps over in Poland. So it's a serious subject, but his work is beautiful and it's been featured up in Indianapolis. He's put on photography shows up there and now he's coming here. And so come on out May 5th at 6.30 and you'll get to see that and meet him. On May 7th, we have our annual plant exchange, which is super fun. You bring in the plants that you have extra of and get from other gardeners um, some neat new varieties that you don't have in your garden. It's a great way to get free plants and give away your extras, get some new varieties. We do ask that you do not bring invasive non-native species. We're really trying to protect native species, Indiana plants, and really get them going. Um, on May 7th and 16th, we have our famous and very popular coffee and coloring. Come on down for that. Hang out for a couple hours and color and chat. We always have coffee and refreshments and everybody has a good time. It's a way to meet other people and get in touch with your inner artist. And What time is that usually? 10 o'clock. It runs from 10 till noon. I don't kick anybody out till they're done. So <laughs> it lasts a long time. Um, then on May 12th, we're starting again Knitting 101, and that'll be at 6 o'clock here in the conference room at the Madison Library. And this is for people who have not ever picked up knitting needles. It's for total beginners. And our teacher, Pam Sinsel, she will tell you or show you all of the basics to get you started and get you doing your own big project soon. And the people who actually started last year are Knitting 101, now one year later are designing and making their own Afghans. Mm -hmm. So the progress they've made is remarkable. So in just one year, you could be expert level if you start our classes. And it's free. We provide the yarn. You just need to bring size 7 knitting needles. Mm -hmm. And Knitting 101 is a six-week series to really get you going. And let's see, the same week as the Folk Fest, mm -hmm. we are having our Friends of the Library book sale. And don't miss that. There is just all sorts of neat finds, things that have been donated. You can get movies, books. We'll have a lot of children's books this year yeah, in the book sale. So you can add to your collection. And just for cents, like 25 cents, you can pick up really great mm -hmm. books. It's crazy not to come. Um, and then I wanted to show you real quick. We're getting a lot of these in the adult section now. We're getting playaways, and these they have um, books on them. And so this is what the case looks like. You'll see it on the shelf. And what it has in it is a little device that's already loaded with the book. All you have to do is plug in your earphones, and you can listen to it. This one is the life-changing art of tidying up. And so if you're ready to declutter your house <laughs> and uh, kind of do your spring cleaning, this is a great one to start with. It's like a new generation of audiobooks where before you would listen to books on CD, now it's all in one device. You don't have to mess with changing the CDs and stuff. You just plug in your headphones. You can even take it on the go with you if you're gardening, yes. um, if you're um, running or jogging, um, doing things outside. It's great for that too. Super easy, super convenient. And I just want to remind people about our Overdrive service, which is our digital collection. So Friday night, 10 o'clock, you finished your book and you don't have anything to read, 
just download a book from Overdrive. It's a free app and gives you access to our whole digital collection. Hundreds, hundreds and thousands of books, magazines, live stream videos, audiobooks. Audiobooks. It's all free so you can quick Friday night download your book and your weekend is saved. So, so yeah, you can use your tablet, you can use your phone, um, you can download to your Kindles, your Nooks, yes. whatever you have and just all at the touch of your fingers with your library card. And it's free and 24 seven and you don't have to worry about returning the items, they return themselves. So this is great too for people with teenagers who have mm -hmm. trouble getting stuff back in, have them check out the digital version and it returns itself. Absolutely. I'd like to tell you a little bit about some of the programs we have going on for kids and for families in the month of May. Um, the very first program that we're going to have is Minecraft. We do Minecraft Mondays out at the Hanover Branch and it's really fun. It's for kids of all ages. Um, we like for the kids to sign up. Um, Minecraft is going to be on May 9th at 530 at the Hanover Branch and so if you'd like to reserve a computer um, you can call the library. The phone number is 812-866-146 and you can reserve one of the six computers. Um, if for some reason you can't get in on those first six, you can bring your own um, device with you. Um, we can show you how to get on. Um, the kids are really good at helping each other out when they're playing Minecraft, um, and it's just really fun. Um, you don't have to be an expert to play Minecraft, and the kids always have a really good time. Yeah. So that's May 9th at 5.30 at Hanover. Um, we have Sensory story time, which is going to be happening out at the Hanover Library. A lot of our programs in the month of May are going to occur at Hanover Branch. Um, the Sensory story time is on Saturday, May 14th at 11 a.m. And Miss Sherry does our sensory story time, and a lot of hands-on activities happen during that story time. Um, it's for kids who have trouble sitting still, um, any kids who are possibly on the autism spectrum, but they don't have to be. It's for it's anyone is welcome to come to this story time, but it's particularly great for those um, who might have sensory overload issues. Um, we have this story time when the library's closed um, at 11 a.m. Saturday morning at Hanover Branch, and it's just a really fun story time. Uh, Daryl House um, has visited a few different times, and he usually comes around the folk festival, and a lot of the kids recognize him because they get to see him at school, um, but he doesn't get around to all the schools, so um, if kids are younger, like preschool age we would love it if they want to come and see Daryl House he's a children's author he's also a, mu a musician he plays the guitar um, he has daughters of his own he's retired he lives in Florida and he's just got some great songs great music he has CDs and children's books that you can check out from the library and it's just going to be an awesome time Daryl House will be at the Hanover branch on May 16th at 1:30 and um, it's just going to be a really great show so I hope you can make it. Um, we are doing a very very cool program and Sarah's really excited about it. <laughs> um, this was kind of her idea. Um, we're having a stuffed animal sleepover here at the Madison Library. So we're encouraging all the kids if they would like to they can bring their stuffed animal for a sleepover um, and it's kind of like a lock-in for your stuffed animals. So what happens is all day on May 20th, which is a Friday, kids can bring in their stuffed animal. They tell us their animal's name um, and anything that they want to tell us about their stuffed animal and um, maybe a blanket for them. Um, just like they were dropping off their child at a sleepover, they're <laughs> dropping off their stuffed animal. And so then the next morning they will come to pick up their um, stuffed animal. and. Um, they will see a slideshow of all of the fun that their stuffed animal had at the sleepover with all of the other animals. And we'll have like a cute little breakfast and um, they'll get to meet up with their with their favorite stuffed animal again. That, that evening we'll put up posts on social media so the kids can see what their animals are up to yeah. that night at the library. So yeah. they'll be able to watch their animals partying after hours. <laughs> <laughs> at the library. At the yeah. library. So yeah. that'll be really cool. On uh, May 26, we're having a homeschool art gala, and we're really excited about this. This is the first time we've done it, and so we're inviting all of the homeschoolers to bring their art in by May 24th. We'll go ahead and mat it for them, and we'll get everything up in the auditorium so that we'll have a wonderful little art gala in there. We'll 
uh, have refreshments and music and everybody can come in and see some of our young talents that we've got in the area and it'll be a nice opportunity for those homeschool kids to be able to get their work out in the public eye and for everybody all the patrons to see how talented some of our um, local homeschool students are can you tell them what time that is oh yes it's from five to seven so it's in the evening but not too late so it'll be perfect all right and then we do have another program that's going to be at the hanover library we have a special author visit uh, bethel larson comes to us from michigan and she wrote the book the box house and she'll be coming to visit on june 1st at 11 a.m um, after she reads her book uh, the kids can help decorate box houses um, that's something that maybe we did in our youth that today's youth doesn't do as much um, but kind of having fun with the things that we have um, so it'll be a great program out at the hanover branch and so those are a lot of the activities that we have available here at the Madison and at the Hanover Branch Libraries. And we would just love to thank all of our patrons, everyone in the region who comes in and uh, visits us, uses our genealogy services, visits our programs. We'd like to thank you. We'd like to thank our board for just everything they um, really kind of empower us to do as librarians. And we'd like to thank Kentucky Anna News for helping us get word out. Thanks. Uh, we want to thank you for watching as well, <laughs> and we want to tell you a little bit about how you can contact the library. Um, the phone number here at the main library is 812-265-2744. We have an online presence um, at www.mjcpl.org. That's where we have our hours. Um, you can get on our online catalog, and we also have um, a calendar with all of our events. And um, you can like us on Facebook. So if you look for us on Facebook, we are the Jefferson County Public Library, Madison and Hanover. And if you like us, um, you'll get updates about all those fun programs that we're doing. And um, it's just a great way to stay connected uh, to what's going on in your community. So once again, thanks for watching. Thanks. Thank you.